Frustrated Marylanders having trouble with filing unemployment met virtually with state lawmakers for hours today. The Maryland Department of Labor says it's paid tens of thousands of unemployment insurance claims since the start of this pandemic, but thousands say they've had a difficult time. WJC is live. Rachel Minotoff with their concerns and calls for help. Rachel. Vic, a hearing wrapped up less than an hour ago after almost nine hours, and that's because hundreds of Marylanders shared what was often a difficult and frustrating experience applying for unemployment benefits. I've called the unemployment department 562 times. Applying for unemployment benefits became my full-time job. I logged onto the system at 8 a.m. and I got in at 7 p.m. The Maryland Senate held a joint session Tuesday via Zoom to hear directly from their constituents. Over 1,100 Marylanders signed up, but only the first 270 were invited to testify. The remainder could submit video testimonies. Like everybody else on here, I contacted the governor's office seven times. Today, I got seven automated responses saying the exact same thing for the weeks of me sending those emails. The Department of Labor says it's paid more than 327,000 unemployment claims during the coronavirus pandemic. But the state's new Beacon one stop website wasn't without its problems. Baltimore County Senator Johnny Ray Salling says there's no doubt the system is flawed. What do we need to do for this process to get this Beacon site taken care of? Many people who took part in the virtual hearing say they've made hundreds of phone calls. Please file your claim had long wait times. For information on how to file, press 1. And never actually reached a live person. People of Maryland deserve better, and the buck stops with me. Unfortunately, the apology doesn't put food on the table for the Marylanders who have not received the money that they deserve. Danita Wallace estimates she's called the department thousands of times in the last two months. Uh, the one time I actually got through to the queue, I had to hold on for three hours to speak with a person. She said the system was down and she couldn't help me. Maryland Labor Secretary Tiffany Robinson released a statement today saying in part, we are focused on getting the job done. We will not be satisfied until every Marylander gets the relief they need and deserve. We're live tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.